this is John from Flat Cat Gear. So one of the questions that always arises for backpackers is, um, when do I replace my water filter? Is my water filter good enough? So uh, recently we went on a trip to New Zealand. This is my uh, original Sawyer Squeeze. It's about five years old. I decided to go out and buy a new one just from an insurance policy standpoint of view. Um, and while I was working on it, I decided to come up with a test to evaluate it. Uh, so in some past work I've done, there's a test called uh, conductivity testing, uh, which tells you um, about flow through a filter. So I developed a, a, an equation for that and I actually wrote up an article in Backpacking Light. And here's, here's the link to that article. And what I've done is I've modified the test a bit because I used to weigh out how much water was flowing through it. But then I got a, uh, I have a, a graduated cylinder. It measures uh, marked it at 500 milliliters and I'll show you the setup. You use a um, smart water bottle and I punch a hole in the back end and I fill everything up with water. There's no air in the system. Put it on top of the graduated cylinder, release it and time how much water uh, flows through the filter. And because of the flow rate, you can determine what the effective area is relative to a new filter. Uh, additionally, what I did was uh, for Grins, I went out and purchased a Sawyer Mini. Uh, and test to compare how did the Sawyer Mini compared to the Sawyer Squeeze and how did that compare to my original Sawyer Squeeze with about five years of life on it. So let's watch this video and uh, I'll share with you the results. What you see in the sink is uh, these are a bunch of Sawyer filters, uh, two of them brand new. This is a smart water bottle and in the bottom of the smart water bottle I have a punched a hole. Uh, that way I can put my finger over it and hold liquid in it and what we're going to do is we're going to run uh, water from this filter in through a graduated cylinder and I've marked it off at 500 milliliters and what we're going to do is we're going to measure how long it takes uh, for each of these filters to filter 500 milliliters of liquid. I filled this up all underwater so there's no air in it and start my timer And we're going to time how long it takes to get up to here. So that took nine seconds. So we're actually going to run this uh, the same exact test three times and record the times. And then we're going to switch over to the uh, Sawyer Mini. It's the same setup. Uh, you can find the details of this test. Uh, I actually wrote an article for uh, Backpacking Light uh, where I've gone through uh, all the math to compare uh, the two filters. And it really comes down to the difference in flow rate is a function of the um, filter area. And so by knowing the time difference of running the water through here, you get an idea of how the filter size of a mini compares to that of a uh, Sawyer Squeeze. That was a minute and 54 seconds. All right. So the results indicate to me that the Sawyer Squeeze is a darn good filter. Uh, five years of life on this filter, and it still actually outperforms a brand new Sawyer Mini. Uh, the, the cost differential is, is minor. Uh, the weight difference between the Sawyer uh, Mini and the Sawyer uh, Squeeze is very little. And so to me, the, the Sawyer Mini just doesn't make any sense. Uh, the filter capacity is too low. Um, it's not nearly as robust. And uh, the flow rate through the squeeze is so much higher. So come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.